So I am with Spurs fan Mark inside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Mark, it's the first time you've been there, isn't it? Oh yes, very first time, very first time. What are your thoughts? Amazing, truly amazing. This is an amazing stadium. It's, it's, it's the biggest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's the nicest thing I've ever seen. I swear to God, it is so lovely and immaculate. You can just imagine the fans, like, all around here. Yeah, this is going to what, be, what's yeah. this place going to be like on a match day? Yeah, it's just going to be amazing. It's going to be jumping, man. It's going to be. No one will come here and want to play us. No one will want to play us here. Seriously, I wouldn't want to play the one here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, this is going to be amazing. This, this, listen, I've never seen a stadium like this. I wish I got a season ticket now. Because <laughs> I would love to come here and watch Tottenham play and cheer up teams. It's funny, I've been here a few times and it feels like um, like a bigger version of White Hart Lane, but just so much better. Do you get that feeling as well? I've been to White Hart Lane a few times and it is, it is White Hart Lane, but it's a, yes, like you said, it's a lot bigger than White Hart Lane. Yeah. White Hart Lane, to, compared to what, White Hart Lane can fit inside this easily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the old White Hart Lane can easily yeah. fit inside this. This is, this, is, this is truly amazing. How do you think the players will feel when they step oh, out for the very first like, game? They feel like kings, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, what are you? <laughs> you feel like a king. You've been walking out with your chest out so proud. You feel like a king. You feel like, he could come here and beat us. He could come here and beat us. Now, when I was walking in, I actually saw you uh, getting a pint at the bar. Yeah. Were you impressed with that? <laughs> you, you, your magnet life. at the bottom. <laughs> This is the fastest part I've had in my life. <laughs> well, I filmed it and it, it took about three or four seconds. Yeah. And I thought, whoa, that's a bit of a short video. <laughs> Damn deal. <laughs> Listen, you'd be able to get in your drink and come back out and be out for the half second half. Easy. No problem at all. What do you think of all the uh, other facilities and what, what actually really impressed you about this stadium? Um, the size of it. It's not the size of it and how immaculate it is. It's just immaculate. You know what I mean? I, Walking through and walking in the, in the underground car park as well, that was just truly amazing. Yeah, I mean, what was that? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it sounded like it was like a Showing off now. <laughs> it, was like, it, it was like going through like an American, like sort of stadium sort of feel. It's got, like, it's got a bit of that American style of it as well. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you, I mean, it's got that American feel of a stadium. Yeah, I mean, like how the stadiums are in America a little bit. But yeah, it's still home. It's still Tottenham. It's still, they made it. That it can fit two. Yeah. But this is that. Uh, I love it. I really do love it. I swear to God. This is... They're showing the Super Bowl 53 tonight. Patriots v uh, the LA Rams. Are you into NFL? Not really myself. I know the rules and stuff. I know. I know how it follows, but I'm not really a fan of it myself. But um, yeah. Hope, well, I reckon the Rams will do it though. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon the Rams will do it. I'm not really, not really keen, but I reckon the Rams will do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Can I just say that? Like, I don't know if I'll be able to come back here again. <laughs> you know what I mean? To be fair, I don't think I'll get. I'll Do you know, it's the, it's the quietest I've ever known you. Every time I, every time I've, uh, I've spoke to you, 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 you're normally full of it, and, yeah, and now I, you just I, seem speechless. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe where I'm at. Yeah, I, mean, I can't believe where I'm at. I'm at the top, yeah, Hotspur Stadium. It's not even open yet, and I'm here. Yeah, I mean, I'm when will it open, Mark? Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> but soon. Hopefully, these players want to come out and play in this stadium. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I want to see them play in this stadium. I want to see them. Yeah, I mean, do the big teams. Yeah. I mean, have the Champions League game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. See the Real Madrid come here and the Barcelona just come here and then get spanked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get proper spanked. Well, especially especially against. Uh, well, in front of that south stand. Proper spank, yeah. I mean, when you see them in the leave in the stadium, you're thinking, yeah, that's right. You come to the home of football. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. He's getting into it now. <laughs> yeah, this is it, man. No, this is it. No, seriously, this is it. This is the stadium, man. I think that, yeah. I mean, you could do an easier World Cup final there. Yeah. Isn't it? You'd be like, yeah, the World Cup. It's amazing. That man. is amazing. It's it is a fantastic place. I like you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a couch fan. I watch Tottenham at home sometimes, I'm on the couch and I don't really get to come to the stadium like yeah. this and being in there, I'm just like, man, I want to come here every week. I want to watch a game here, I want to come here and see the team play good. You know what I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> come on, this is Tottenham, man. <laughs> well, thank you very much, come on you Spurs. Come on you Spurs. So I'm now with Spurs fan Paul, sat in the East Stand. Paul, what do you make of this place? Just incredible just the drive up to the stadium coming in tonight I mean the size of the car park underneath just gives you 
you've no idea how big the place is. And then the moment you walk out, I mean, I'm literally, like the first three or four minutes, I'm just stood there with my mouth open. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot believe what you're looking at. I mean, when you think the last few years we've been to the Bernabeu, the new camp, which I thought was quite poor. All the, um, you and I have been to all the away games yeah, this yeah. year. And all the grounds we visited. <laughs> Literally nothing, nothing compares to this. Absolutely nothing. I mean, the view from everywhere must be. Well, you're just not going to get a bad view. Yeah. Like, this stands incredible. Absolutely incredible. The screens, the size of them, are just enormous. Honest <laughs> to God. Thank God, thank God, it's in my lifetime, and um, I know a lot of people have moaned about how long it's taken. But it's worth the wait. When you when you get in here, yeah. that will be forgotten straight away. Yeah. I mean, you imagine the Champions League nights. I feel mm. un unbelievable. unbelievable. You there's no words. No words. Well, I think any game here would be fantastic. Um, how, what do you think, like, for, for the opposition to actually come into this stadium and to, to walk out here and to see so many Spurs fans here? It was so close to the pitch as well, especially the, uh, the south stand. Well, to be fair, White Hart Lane on its top nights is pretty intimidating, isn't yeah. it? But to get that on this scale, yeah. um, you know, you've got to show respect to the other clubs that are in the league, your large round at Old Trafford, your Liverpool Knights, but this is easily on that level, easily, probably better, but we won't know that till we've actually experienced one, obviously, but um, I'm going to be interested to see how you know, the design of um, the roof and everything, how the noise will be kept in, how loud it actually will be in here. Mm. It's just going to be incredible. And I think for any, I mean, I'm doing all the aways this year because I want to go and see all the grounds, but any away team coming here, you've got to try your hardest. Well, to come you won't visit a better one than this, Paul. No, no, <laughs> Certainly in the Premier League. No, it's incredible. And uh, it just seems to be so close. Yeah. It's so close to the picture. Yeah. I mean, attention to detail. I mean, I'm going to be set up on that tier there, that side, on the halfway line. I just can't imagine what that's going to be like. What, um, what other features in this stadium really impress you? To be quite honest, I haven't been here long enough because you're just blown away. I think, yeah. I think I need another 10, 15 minutes just to wander around. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you're enough one. I've just, did, I've just uh, spoke to, to Mark and uh, you're enough one. You're normally full of it. And now you're, you're like, you know, you, you're lost for words. <laughs> you literally are. You literally are. Well, as I say, in our lifetime, thank God we've seen this, and God, for the people that are coming here for the first time, now that there's 60,000 that can come here, everybody's lucky to come here, I think. Do you think we'll be in here this season? I've been saying to my friend that we might as well wait till next season, but I've completely changed that now, because depending on the results over the next few weeks, if we've got a run in, yeah. this is where you've got to be, yeah. without a doubt, without a doubt. Are you an NFL fan? Because uh, the Super Bowl is being shown here on the screen really. tonight. I've always wanted to watch one, and um, cool, what a first place to come and watch one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think I will come and watch one when they have one here. Yeah. Um, God knows where that picture is and how it comes out, but I know I've seen it on the uh, internet. I thought it might be out tonight. You can't, yeah. you can't imagine how that works. But look at that pitch. Look at that. Paul, last question for you. Do you think we'll be in here this season? I only go on what I, what I read, I think the latest is they're talking about the Palace game, but um, yeah, I think, well, looking at this, I don't know why we're not in here, and looking at Kane the other day on the videos, I don't know why he's not ready to play, so everything might come <laughs> together at once, and Ericsson needs to sign that contract, because he's got to be playing here, <laughs> he must be down here, surely. Oh, if you let any player in here, any potential signing oh. in here, every player would want to sign for us, wouldn't they? I'm sure we're getting into the, we've got a pair of any more and all that, yeah. now, but at the end of the day, yeah. I think if they walk in here like every other fan's walking here tonight, yeah. oh, I know the money counts, but there will not be a more impressive stadium to walk into, that's yeah. for sure. Paul, thank you very much. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. So I'm now joined by Barnaby Slater, formerly Hello. of Spurred On. Hello. Barnaby. Hi. 
what do you think of this place? Yeah, it's my first time here. Um, yeah, I was just saying on my Instagram account, I just think it's so incredibly tight and intimidating. I can really see some glory, glory nights here in a big way, some big Champions League nights. It's beautiful, very smart move, I think, by the club to get the uh, NFL night on tonight. The branding all looks great. Mm. I think people will understand what it's going to be like to have NFL games over here. Um, but in terms of a stadium, you know, everything that I hoped it would be and more, it feels it feels different to all those kind of identical stadiums that have been coming up over the last 15 years or so. Yeah. The, um, you know, the one tier wall, if you want to call it that, I think is going to be unbelievable. All set up for safe standing as well. Everything that I think the club can think about uh, in terms of readying this for the future as uh, as stadiums evolve, they've done. And, and, and it's beautiful. It's a really beautiful building, I'd say. Well, you've been to Dortmund. Um, so how do you compare theirs to ours? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's difficult because I've only really seen I've only seen Dortmund when it was full, mm. but you know, an incredible atmosphere. I'd be intrigued to see whether we um, get a lot of flags made and banners made and stuff like that, because that really adds to the atmosphere. They do that at the Cop at An Anfield as well, have yeah. done for years. That, I think that would be a good idea, but it's steep as anything, and you're, you know, every, they're going to be right on top of the pitch. I've actually got a seat in there, so I don't know why I'm saying there. We're going to be right on top of the pitch. Um, very exciting. I, I, I hope that. Uh, I'd love if there was a way we could start with that Arsenal game here. I love the fact whoever I talk to um, when they come in this stadium and bearing in mind it is empty yeah. and there's, there's you know, nothing happening on the pitch, everyone's so excited about coming into an empty stadium. So yeah. what are they going to be like on a match day? What are people going to feel like? It's going to be unbelievable, I think. I think that first match day, whoever it's against, people will be here so early mm. and um, the noise when the players come out of that tunnel will be incredible and it's, it's one of those things you can't miss. I, it's worth having spent the money on a couple of season tickets, which I accidentally Just for did, the first game. Just for the first <laughs> game alone. And I'd love it to be that big Arsenal game. I know it won't be, but I, I would love it to be a game where it really mattered. And also, obviously, I would love for Harry Kane to be fit for that first game here as well. So hopefully yeah. that will happen. Um, saying about the players, how do you think the players are going to feel when they sit foot on the pitch for the very first time and just Re look around? I think relieved, first of all. Um, but I think... I, I, I can't believe that this ground wouldn't entice bigger players to come to our club. It definitely will. I think it has to. Um, I think the Wembley thing has probably hurt us more than we actually realise at this point because you know we're still going along but I think if we'd have been in here this season, certainly last season, I think we'd have been a lot closer to the top uh, and I think they'll love it. I think it'll entice better players to come to our club. It's, it's, it's the most beautiful ground I've been to in this country for sure, for sure. Well, with all... I want to say the world, but I feel like you know, that's maybe a little bit too far. With all the stadium delays, it is worth it, isn't it? It will be worth it. I think it will. I think all the delays and stuff will be forgotten. Basically, all the delays are really is a chance for people who want to be negative to be negative and for opposition fans to take the piss out of us. What we care about is that I think real Spurs fans care about the long term evolution of our club and that is something where I know people get annoyed when when you mention or oh, where our club was in the 90s or under Alan Sugar or under Irving Scholar or whatever but I don't think like that at all I, I think about what we could be potentially as a club in 10 years time and I think Pochettino understands that I think real fans who come to all the games realize that most of the time and this is going to be a huge piece in that jigsaw it's an amazing unbelievable place when will it open uh, I think it'll <laughs> I think it'll be I would say that Crystal Palace game, but I think they're going to beat Doncaster in the cup, so then that gets moved. So the game you think it'll be this that, season? Yeah, I do. They're going to do an announcement this week, I think. Okay. From what I've heard. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.